The increasing demand for natural gas in recent years have led researchers to consider alternative methods of natural gas generation. Thus, the production of biosynthetic natural gas by biomass is introduced. In general, biomass is an organic compound that has a high carbon compound which makes it a perfect feed for natural gas production. These are examples of biomass. Biomass is preferred over coal to produce synthetic natural gas because biomass is a renewable source. Furthermore, the production of biosynthetic natural gas indirectly aids in the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. It also promotes agricultural development and helps to expand the synthetic natural gas market. Production of SNG from biomass is a continuous process that can be divided into five stages which are pre-treatment, gasification, tar removal, methane synthesis and gas upgrading. The process flow diagram is illustrated as shown. In this video, we will be focusing on the second and fourth steps which are gasification and methane synthesis. After pre-treatment, biomass is fed into the riser of the gasifier and steam is fed to the bottom. The gasifier consists of a fluidized bed made up of sand and or olivine with 0.2 mm to 0.3 mm particle size at 850 degrees Celsius. The biomass is converted into char and gas through pyrolysis which creates an updraft in the riser. The larger particles fall back into downcomers and burn at about 925 degrees Celsius that helps to heat up the biomass at the bottom, while the flue gas leaves the reactor from above. The technology used is called Malena and the reaction scheme is as shown. Tars are removed and the produced gas from the gasifier is purified and treated before methanation to prevent corrosion to the system and environment. Catalytic synthetic production of methane from hydrogen and carbon monoxide is described by the CO methanation where carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen to form methane and water. Moreover, it's also possible to convert carbon dioxide to methane. In the methanation step, TREMP which is based on fixed bed technology is used. Four adiabatic reactors with recycling and intermediate cooling are involved at various temperatures and 24 bars. The ceramic-based methanation catalyst in TREMP can operate at high temperatures up to 700 degrees Celsius. Thus, the exothermic heat can be recovered as high-pressure steam and the amount of methane that has to be recycled can be reduced. The gas mixture is then upgraded to meet the requirements before it enters the gas grid.